Hello YouTube! Today we're going to go over this cheap and easy method to keep your chicken water from freezing. Uh, it's easy and quick to build. It should be under twenty dollars to do so and I'll show you how it works and how well it works. Just to give a little background I did have a watering system that goes into the coop here and what it is is just a PVC pipe with an aquarium pump or aquarium heater inside and just runs constantly to keep it from freezing uh, the, the issue is that the pump the pump the heater has died and I came out here one day and it was all frozen and it actually broke the pipe so instead of investing in another heat element I decided to try this method and it's been working great um, uh, I'd say the temperature goes down to about five degrees at night and this uh, tin watering can here actually stays unfrozen um, depending on the wind and how cold it really is we've had weather down under zero uh, and it did freeze a little bit not completely they were able to peck to the bottom and get to the water uh, but this method works cheap and easy and uh, just using a tin can and a light bulb generates a lot of heat let me bring this inside and show you uh, what it looks like okay let's break into the details here uh, number one you only want to do this with a metal watering can if you put a plastic watering can in there there's a chance it could melt it gets pretty hot so uh, only try this with watering cans that are made of metal uh, number two and I'll link below uh, to some of the parts that you might want to get I just had this tin can laying around the house wife didn't want anymore so I used it but you can buy them of course on Amazon or whatever for like ten dollars um, and inside uh, is the lighting fixture um, I will link to a, a part below on Amazon that you can get for like five dollars and pretty much all you else you need is a cord that you will cut open and I'll show you that in a second let me bust this open okay what we have here is the light fixture itself um, this is an old one I just had laying in the garage uh, the part on Amazon I'm linking to is much smaller than this in fact you can just put all the wires inside it doesn't really matter just uh, when you slice open this cord and pull this apart you just want to use electrical tape to uh, make those connections try to make it as watertight as possible as you are out in the elements um, with rain and snow um, as simple as that just push this through here and uh, plug it in I type I put these wires underneath so the chickens don't poke at it um, the one on the, the link on Amazon you can probably put the wires just right inside and uh, even tighten this up and make this airtight so wind doesn't push the hot air out of there actually it's pretty hot right now um, I'm not even I've had it all off for a couple minutes it's still hot so uh, let me show you how hot it does get in there I'm going to put a temperature probe in there and we'll just see how warm it does get okay it uh, it got so hot in there that it actually uh, kind of fried the display on my temperature probe here I'm hoping uh, it cools off and I you know get some type of reading so let me come back in a minute all right temperature probes coming back to life I'm not sure if you can see it but it's slowly going down uh, it says 126 degrees it was over 130 um, so that's how hot <laughs> this 60 watt light bulb produces that much heat it's, it's pretty amazing um, so all you got to do is have a tin can about two and a half three inches thick drill a hole in it put this in there close this lid it's still warm here and put the metal watering can right on top and that sucker will stay unfrozen until about five degrees zero degrees so that's about it it's really that simple under 20 bucks give it a whirl let me know how you do until next time YouTube see ya